Rappers who fired back at disrespectful interviewers. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to join this month's giveaway on some of the free stuff on your screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, watch the video till the end, and then leave a comment with the keyword down below. Good luck. Snoop Dogg. In 2011, Snoop Dogg went to Norway for an Adidas promo. After he arrived late to the store, he did an interview with VGTV, and the reporter straight up asked Snoop why he was five hours late. You're five hours late here. And man, shut the f up. Come on, man. No, we just saw you on oh, Twitter come on. No, from the border. I'm about five hours late. Nigga, I'm here. Nigga, be happy I'm here and ask some real questions. After all this, the reporter insisted and asked Snoop again why he was late, and Snoop gave the reporter a top-tier comeback. Yeah, why you were so late? And I saw you were twittering about stop, me being stopped at the border. I was late because I went to go get some chicken wings. That's why I was late. All right, next one. Yeah, get this hey, one. Thank, you, thank, you, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you. All right, guys. You always off with the first question. Lil Yachty. In 2017, Lil Yachty went to the complex show Everyday Struggle, which was hosted by Joe Budden and DJ Academics. In case you didn't know, Budden isn't the biggest Yachty fan. So Lil Boat started talking about his personality, which Budden didn't understand. After that, Lil Boat said that he wakes up happy, and this got Budden fired up. I'm happy every day because life is moving in such a positive way, I can't get slowed down. This is a very media-trained answer that I'm getting. It's not a media-trained answer. All right, so let me respond to what you're how saying. I am. In this music industry, in the music business, mm -hmm. you are happy 24-7. That is a lie. So, that is a that is bullshit, so, and I refuse to have somebody tell me. Lil Boat just responded with this simple but wise comeback while remaining pretty calm. When you come from a college dorm room with no money, okay, you scamming credit Which cards, is and you come to having three, four cars, you got millions of dollars, half a million dollars on your body just to wear and any kind of clothes you want any hoes you want how could you be upset gucci Mane. gucci Mane sat down with charlemagne the god sans the radio personality's usual breakfast club co-hosts angela yee and dj envy and at one point during the chat angela yee was talking about gucci's last visit i don't believe her, what she's saying <laughs> she's fine what i wasn't was scared terrified no See? i wasn't you know you were go back and look at that I that's what gucci said did he say that during the interview you i seen it. what would i be scared what's she gonna do to me Guwop spilled some tea on host Angela Yee, claiming that she tried to smash back in the day. Yee flatly denied the accusation, but the entire exchange was awkward and hilarious. Come on, guys. She didn't try. Okay. She didn't try. Yeah, right. she didn't try. <laughs> She's on my d back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is right. a lie. Okay. That is not lying. <laughs> no, we was cool. I was not on your d Stop you it. You used to be texting me what hotel you was at. Oh, oh, that is a lie. Oh, you oh, said oh, that. You never. 50 Cent. 50 Cent was being interviewed by Complex about new ABC drama for life, which the rapper worked on as an executive producer. During the conversation, Fifth was also asked about his beef with French Montana, which he was less than enthused to speak on. It seems as though it all started with playful banter. It still seems that way to me, but what's up with French? Are you guys cool? Are you not cool? I don't really have interest in it. Like, that's not... There, there was rumors that you snuffed him in a club in Miami or something. Is there any truth to any of that? No, it's the truth. Would I do a thing like that? The interviewer then responds by saying, quote, I wouldn't put it past you. At which point, 50 decided to end the interview, taking his microphone off and walking out of the room. I don't know, Phil. I wouldn't put it past you. Why would you think that way? Would you think Will Smith would do that? I, would I can't believe you would say these things about me. <laughs> I'm not saying them about you. The, the internet said that. Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert went to Hot 97 to chat with Ebro, Laura Stiles, and Peter Rosenberg back in 2016. And when Ebro requested for Uzi to rap over a DJ Premier beat, Uzi straight up admitted he wasn't interested in DJ Premier's boom bap standard. Um, so you gonna get to these bars? If you pull up, I'm telling you right now, if you pull out one of them old beats, I'm not rapping on it. Why Straight up. You, just, you, you just, see me, bro? I am a rock star, bro. I'm not rapping on that type stuff. So let's get to these raps since you know so nice. This nigga, um, running through all of these groupies, yeah. I might just put my um, yeah, right in that coochie, like yeah. I feel like boozy with all of this coochie, all of these diamonds and diamonds, yeah. No, put another, like put another beat on, shit. Nah, cause all I got is old man beats, and you not built. <laughs> hey, right, listen. Andy told him that the next generation will not use these kinds of beats, and that's exactly what happened. Now we don't even see that many rappers rap over old school beats. It's going to be a lot of young guys coming up here and they ain't going to want to rap on that. I'm trying to tell you, it's changing. Yo, look. It's I changing. Hope, no, I hope they change. I it's hope changing, they change. bro. I hope they change. I hope they change. Charlemagne and Beanie Siegel. 
Beanie Siegel sat down with the Breakfast Club back in 2016 to discuss his past beef with Meek Mill. And during all of that, Charlemagne the God criticized Beans for involving himself in the beef and said his diss records towards Meek were based on sheer hate. The whole situation seems shaky. I know you say I'm not qualified to speak on it. You're I'm not. Just a, you know, loyalty with you lies with who's providing you opportunity at the time. Man, get the f out of here. What loyalty? With who? He ain't provide me no opportunity. He ain't called me and asked me to do that. So you didn't hear the record at all before? At all. Know? Okay. At all. So they, if they, I tell you, if I tell you, Charlamagne, take this ride with me. And then we wind up going somewhere, and then this happened. And... Got you, got you. Okay. So we're snakes. Answer that. That's snakes. Okay. Charlemagne continued to question him about the way he handled the Meek feud, Beans responded again as the Breakfast Club PO meter hit the peak. Why you keep harping on that? We answered that. You like so don't talk out in that because you want what you you want don't stop playing with me did we did we did not just answer that and in just 40 minutes the co-host and guests called each other names as siegel finger pointed bounded the table and raised his raspy voice more than a few times you don't come from my world you don't come from you wouldn't understand my world nah i don't yeah it's stop that running I, your I, mouth man I don't want stop it. running your fucking mouth you shouldn't it's dangerous it's dangerous no doubt. You're talking about somebody who went to war with police, attempted murders in the height of my career. It's dangerous. You don't know nothing about that, man. No. You sit up here and your job is to play games. Play with something safe, man. Don't play with me. Kanye West. Kanye West appeared on The Jay Leno Show. And during the brief interview segment, Leno asked West what the rapper's late mother would have said about the Taylor Swift incident. When he stormed the stage after Taylor Swift won her VMA and West took the microphone from Swift to announce Beyonce deserved the award. And I immediately knew in this situation that it was wrong and it wasn't actually someone's uh, emotions I stepped on and it was very, it was just, it was rude. Let me ask something. I was fortunate enough yeah. to meet your mom. Uh, what do you think she would have said about this? Kanye sat silent for more than 20 seconds as he attempted to compose himself. He nearly teared up when the talk show host brought up his late mother, whom he lost in November of 2007 due to complications following cosmetic surgery. We can't defend Kanye's awful behavior at the VMAs, but it seemed like a bit of a low blow, especially coming from a nice guy like Jay Leno. Would she be disappointed in this? Would she give you a lecture? Yeah. You know, obviously, you know, I, I deal with hurt. So many, you know, celebrities, they never take the time off, and I, I've never taken the time off to really... Hey, you. Yeah, you. You like this video? Great. We got another one for you that we guarantee you would like. All you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees. But you have to click fast because this message will self-destruct in five seconds.